Welcome back once again to howtocookgreatfood.com. If you haven't already, click that button and subscribe to our channel. On the menu today, this fantastic, really lovely and really simple broccoli and tofu. So, so simple, so delicious, vegetarian and vegan. Let's go and do it. Okay, so here we go. I've got a pan here, like a small wok. I've got a touch of oil in there. I'm using a sunflower oil. In fact, this is the same oil that I just fried our tofu in. Now, if you're not sure about how to make tofu, we do have a video dedicated to that. Well, I'm gonna just show you very quickly in a moment how it's done. So here's my tofu, which I've prepared by cutting it into cubes. Always use a firm or the hardest type of tofu you can get when you're frying it. It comes in, in different kind of textures. This is the firmest one you can get, which is great for frying. Now what I've done is I've got the block of this out of the packet. It always sort of comes in water, it sits in water, a little bit like mozzarella cheese maybe. Um, I've put it on a cloth or paper towels, wrapped it again with another cloth or more paper towels, and I need to put a weight on it, some form of weight, a bag of sugar or something, or a few cans, and um, leave it. I left it for about 20 minutes. It just sort of, the, 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 the cloth or the, the towel will absorb the water, the excess water, so it's very sort of squidgy right now. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna get it into some oil, and uh, it will crisp up. It won't go really, really golden brown, but it will go slightly brown. We're going to cook it for a few minutes. It'll be nice and tender inside. And then we're ready to get moving. It's not going to take that long, probably about four or five minutes in some hot oil. I'm using a sunflower oil, but go ahead and use any oil you like. And simply I'll take this out Put it on some more paper towel just to get rid of the excess oil. And that's it. Like I say, if you want, check out, uh, we've got a dedicated video for this. Shows you exactly how to do it. So, we've got our hot oil. You've just seen how that's done. We're gonna start by dropping in some onions. Sliced red onions. You can use white, no problem. And just here, I've got like a teaspoon of finely chopped ginger. Now, I want all the vegetables in this to be really crunchy. I don't need to cook these onions for a very long time. And there's our broccoli. Now, make sure you cut it nice and thin, like that, and leave a good amount of the stalk on. Lots of people take all the stalk off. There's loads of goodness in that. I'm now just gonna add a little bit of red chili to taste, entirely up to you. I like to keep it in whole as well, like that, just split down the middle, the seeds are in there. And at this point, I'm going to drop my broccoli. In it goes. Yeah, if you cut it too thick and bulky, it's going to be a little bit too crunchy. This way, it'll be nice and crunchy, but as you can see, cut nice and thin. It will just be perfect. So we're on a really kind of high heat. Just throw this around for about another 60 seconds or 90 seconds, I'll be back then. This is looking great to me. And now I'm gonna drop in our fried tofu. Really simple dish, this is really simple. I'm gonna add a little splash of soy sauce, not too much. And I'm not adding any salt or pepper because I've got the chili in there which is acting as my pepper and the soy sauce is acting as my salt. I'm gonna add a few bean sprouts, which again, we're just gonna toss for a few seconds. I don't wanna cook them too much.
Off goes the heat. That should go straight to the table. That's done. See you again next time. Bye-bye.